Morning, Abutai. Yesterday we uh, spoke about the halacha that once a person is mechabel Shabbat by saying Baruch Hashem Vorach Le'Olam Ba'ed with the tzibur, then he forfeits Mincha Shel Chol even if he hasn't yet prayed. He's going to have to do Tashlumin. He's going to have to pray Arvit Shel Shabbat Shtaim. There's actually an exception to that rule. The Mishnah Berurah brings down that this only applies by Kabbalat Shabbat Shel Rabim, which means if you accept Shabbat by saying Baruch Hashem Vorach, that's with the Rabim. That obligates you to accept Shabbat, the al and you forfeit Mincha. However, if a person makes a Kabbalat Shabbat Shal Yachid, for instance, many times, especially for uh, men who live alone, Bachurim, whatever it is, they need, need to light Nerot Shabbat, and it's still a little bit early. It's not within a half hour of Shkiah, it's before then. Let's say it's closer to Plaga Mincha. The Halacha is over there, you can only light Shabbat candles and make a Bracha if you're being Mekabel Shabbat. But if I do that, if I go Dab Mincha, come back and light candles and we miss Kabbalat Shabbat and we miss Arvit. So sometimes men are stuck in a bind. So what do they do? They light candles earlier before they go to shul, before half hour before Shkiah. This is especially prevalent during the summer. They're Mekabin Shabbat in those situations as a result of lighting the candles. But that's only Kabbalat Shabbat Shal Yachid. And therefore the halacha is, even though he was Mekabin Shabbat and he's Asur Bim Lacha, nevertheless he's still allowed to daven Mincha um, even though it's Shabbat for him, because it's only Kabbalat Shabbat Shel Yachid, Velo Shel Tzibur, so that does not cause him to forfeit his Tefilat Mincha. That's with regards to that, because that Hashem will continue in coming days. Yom Tov, have a wonderful day. Just a few...